And hello to everyone, I'm Hedgehog and welcome back to 7 Days Today Alpha 19.1. We are going to have another look at one of the mods from Nexus Mods and this time it's a mod made by Guy Coco. Um, it's one of the French modders here in the community and the mod we're going to have a look at is Geek My Vehicle. It is a mod which adds multiple tiers of the vehicles which are vanilla in-game because it's only XML edited. And besides the regular bicycle, there's a bicycle tier 1, which gives you more inventory. We have the mini bike, then the mini bike tier 1, which increases its speed, but it also consumes more fuel. Tier 2, you can jump with it. Tier 3, it gives you more slots. The motorcycle tier 1 increases speed, consumes more fuel. Then the motorcycle tier 2 um, makes it so that you can actually sit with more people on a mo motorcycle. It adds space for a second person. Motorcycle tier 3 adds more inventory space. Then we have the 4x4, which is the Jeep. The tier 1 increases speed and consumes more fuel. Tier 2 again increases inventory. Gyrocopter. You have the regular one, then the tier 1 has increased speed with vertical lift and consumes more fuel. Which means from tier 1 onwards it moves more like a helicopter than it does like a gyrocopter. So we no longer need a runway in order to take off, but it will take off vertically. The tier 2, it adds inventory space. The tier 3 gives you extra space for people to sit on. It actually puts a bench on it so you can sit with three people inside the gyrocopter. And the tier 4 again adds more inventory. In order to get them, what he has done is he has added quests. And you get those quests well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? by going to the How trader. And if we go here into her secret stash here, you see a quest for 4x4 tier 1. Now, it costs 11,000 dukes, so it's definitely not cheap. Let's buy that off of her. Alrighty, then. And if I quickly walk over here to the chest, here you have all the different quests which I have prepared, just in case you didn't have one for sale. And here now we have a second one for the 4x4. I'm going to take the one for the tier 1 bicycle, and I'm also going to take out the bicycle, because that is what we're going to need. The quest itself... The localization, it is still the basic, but if we're going to read it, it gives you a text in French. Doesn't really matter. It still works. Once we accept it, there you go, it will give us the quest. Let's have a quick peek here on the map. Okay, so it is going to be towards the north. I've put a quick waypoint where it tells me that it is going to be. Let me now hop onto the bicycle and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, the question marker. And what it basically does, it gives us one of the standard quests, kill some zombies. And now I need to kill five feral Arlenes. Okay, so I put on my uh, buffer god because... Feral Arlene's on level 14 with no skill points spent is not a good idea. Then the quest progresses and we need to gather 25 cloth fragments and 25 leather. So let me head back to base and get 25 cloth fragments and 25 leathers. And then let's have a see what is the next thing we need to do. Now I have 25 cloth and 25 leather. My bicycle is right over there and now it tells me to go and talk to the trader again. Here's your pay for a job well done. And there we go. So now um, what we're going to get is a blueprint for the bicycle tier 1. Which is right there. And this, if we go to recipes, we have the bicycle, the velo tier 1. And we need the bicycle and all the other things we have. So let's pick up the bicycle and head into our base, which is very convenient right across from Trader Gen. We go into here, and if we go now to recipes, we have the bicycle tier 1. Let's craft it, taking 50 seconds. And there we go. And if I now place this down, look at that. We now have the satchel on the back. And if I go into inventory, look at that. I now have two rows of slots rather than just the one. And here we have all the different vehicles. We have the bicycles, the mini bikes. For some reason, he wants to keep falling the other way. Yep, so here we have all the different types of mini bikes the motorcycle, 
the tier one, the tier through. Here we have the four by four truck. Now this is the regular one and here we have the one with the extra motor capacity, which basically has the turbo but consumes more fuel. And here with extra storage capacity. I do really like ho how with just the vanilla items, he has uh, basically modded the vehicles and made them look pretty cool and more useful. And now if we look in here, look at the storage you have in here. Yeah, this is a 4x4 you can actively use to go out into another city and raiding. Here we have the regular gyrocopter, the tier 1 which goes faster and straight up. The tier 2 with some extra storage space right there in the back. Then we have the tier 3, look at that, there's the bench right there. So there's three people who can sit on it with still the extra storage in here. Again, some additional storage. And if we open this up, we have pretty much the same storage as we have on the 4x4. I still have some gas on me. It does have some nice speed to it and it definitely still drives like the regular 4x4. Do have to say it's uh, getting a little bit used to having that big chunk here at the back. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I do hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that this was mainly useful so you have a good idea of what this mod actually entails. Of course, next time we'll be back with more mods from Nexus Mods. Thank you so much for joining. If you do enjoy the video, please do leave a thumbs up and then I'll see you guys in the next one.